Hi, Chicken Genius here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be talking about electric vehicles replacing fossil fuel vehicles. Watching fossil fuel vehicles is just like watching the fate of horses back in 1910. These horses were very important in the economy for many generations. Cars and trucks showed up with internal combustion engine and slowly you see the fate of workhorses slowly fading away. Since the introduction of the Tesla Model S back in 2012, the first Tesla mass production vehicle, we start to see a shift beginning. First for a few years, Tesla now has the best selling electric vehicle and they have the best selling car by revenue in the US now and this is just the beginning. Tesla is clearly being on the path to be the best selling car in the world. If this is the first time you hear about Tesla, please watch my video on why must Tesla succeed and I'll link in the description below. As history is repeating itself again, let's go back in time back in 1910 where horses were being replaced by cars and the many arguments on why horses will never be replaced by cars. Back in those days, ice cars were 10 times the price of horse. Nobody could justify paying 10 times more just to buy a car. Ice cars need fuel and you need to go out to buy fuel. But if you own a horse, they just eat the grass. But the thing is by 1920, there were about 15,000 fuel stations all around the US and by 1930s, there were above 100,000 fuel stations all over the US. The other point was that fuel was dangerous and highly combustible. And those days, people loved to smoke. So you couldn't smoke in a gas station and that was a laughing stock back in 1910. One of the major barriers they need to get through transiting from horses to cars is that they needed roads. And those days people were laughing that how is that possible to road the entire US? However, in 1916, all the taxpayers started to pay for the roads under the Federal Aid Road Act. There's also this argument about ice cars breaking down and the thought of fixing it was outrageous. Horses, you don't need to fix horses. At the most, they fall sick. However, in the 1920s, there were half a million cars around and there were 60,000 service shops. So these were the many excuses made back in 1910. So now let's come forward 100 years to 2012. In 2012, it was a very special year where Tesla introduced the first mass production car, which is the Model S. And when they did it, there were so many excuses, just like back in 1910. So now let's go through the amount of excuses that these people have. The first very common excuse is that electric cars were much more expensive than fossil fuel vehicles. But now, currently, the Model 3 is cheaper to run than a Toyota Camry. The next biggest excuse I always hear is that the electric cars has no range. Currently, the Model S, a 2019 long-range model, can travel 375 miles. Very few people would like to drive 375 miles non-stop. The upcoming Tesla Roadster in 2020 will have a range of 620 miles. That's like trashing 99% of ice cars out there. I also hear a lot about not enough places charging your car. As of now, there are 13,000 chargers in the US itself and it's going to double and triple in the upcoming years. This is one bonus as Tesla cars consume electricity. If your source of electricity is renewables like wind or solar or power dams, your electricity is technically free and that is amazing. The final argument I always hear is that it's going to take a long time to transit us from fossil fuel vehicles to electric cars. Well, here is a picture back in 1910 on 5th Avenue. You realize the circle there is a picture of an ice car. Three years down the road on 5th Avenue in 1913, do you see a single horse on the road? History is going to repeat itself. Trends are getting clear and consumers are getting smarter. There's only so long these dinosaur fuel cars companies can hold out. Governments that don't keep up with the trend and slow with implementation is going to hurt the economy in the long run. I'll set a date in my calendar and I'll check back this video in 5 years and see what happens. Again, thank you for watching this video. I hope you find this video useful. Please give me a like for this video to help me spread this message to more people to understand Tesla. Again, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and on that notification bell. Good. Bye.